Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working With Todoist series. My name is Carl Pauline and this week it's all about the Routines folder. Now the, I get a lot of questions about the Routines folder. Questions like why do you need one? What should I put in there? And how should it be organized? So I thought okay I'm going to do a video and answer all those questions. Now before we go any further, if you do get any value from this video, then please help me by clicking on that lovely little like button down there. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, and you want to get all the latest tips, tricks and news on using Todoist, then please subscribe to my channel. Okay, let me take you into my Todoist now and I'm going to show you what you can put in your routines folder, why you should put it in there and how to organize it. Okay, so first up what we need to do is we need to create a folder called Routines. Now, if you've actually been following this channel for a long time, you will notice that you will have, I've done a video on Routines before. Now, in those days, we didn't have sections in Routines, so I created subfolders for daily, weekly, and monthly. Now, today, I like to keep this section here nice and clean, so I don't use subprojects anymore. I prefer to use sections for this because I can open and close them as, as I wish. So it doesn't really change anything from what it was by having sub projects. Now I just use these sections. So essentially I have three sections, daily, weekly and monthly. And all I, the reason I do that is because I do review my routines every three to five months because sometimes you just get a little bit bored with seeing the same stuff coming up every day or every week. So I like to just separate it out. The monthly ones generally don't need changing because I only see them once a month or even once a year and we'll get to that in a moment. So what do I put in here? That's the next question. Well, the next, this is for anything that does not drive my life forward. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, as you probably are aware, in my this week folder, I generally have uh, in here, we have this recurring areas of focus. These are repeating tasks that I have to do either every day or every week. Now, these are related to my areas of focus. So you might see something down here which you think well that's or surely that's a routine or surely calling your mum and dad is a routine. Well yes but they are also part of my areas of focus. Send money to my savings account is part of my financial areas of focus. I want to regularly send money to my savings account. Call my parents is another one coming from my family and relationships areas of focus. So it is a recurring areas of focus. Now there is one here, complete weekly planning session. And in a moment, you're going to see the same task in my routines. Now that's deliberate just for this video. Now this one, I'm going to call this entirely up to you. Personally, I've been doing a weekly planning session now for well over 10 years. So I don't really treat it as something really that important anymore. It is important, but I actually prefer to use this in a more routine or way. I just do it every Saturday morning. It's just part of my Saturday morning routine. So I don't keep that in my recurring areas of focus, but you can if you're not doing a weekly planning session, I would put that in your recurring areas of focus. So going back to the routines, routines are the stuff that, well, it wouldn't really matter if you didn't do it today. You could do it tomorrow or you could do it next week if you really must. So a lot of this is going to be your own personal preferences. So just going through my daily one, cleaning up today's admin. I mean, that's not an error. That's not an important task. It can it. It's good to do it on a daily basis because it only takes about 10 minutes. If I do it weekly, it's going to take me two or three hours to do. Same with my sales report. I just update that every day. It just makes life easier. It takes about five minutes to update and it's done. Checking my shopping list for anything urgently required. Again, I often forget to check the shopping list and then start cooking dinner and go, oh, we don't have any broccoli left or oh, I haven't got any mushrooms or whatever. Um, review and update my client list. Again, that's something I know to keep updated because I like to know when I last spoke to a client and if some a client has dropped off the radar or something. 
claiming my action this day folder this is my actionable email now if you guys are into are using gmail this is fantastic because you can link it directly to your action this day folder i've got that here and it's part of my business email address here so that is my action this day folder so i don't have to go to my inbox that's going to take me directly to that folder and you know i i think i've i've probably spoken about this so many times don't send individual email to to doist that just creates overwhelm it just fills up your inbox and things get lost put your actionable email into a folder or i think it's a, a category or label in gmail and just use that and then the single task telling you to clear that folder that comes up every day and then update my content calendar because i do about six pieces of content each week and i like to just keep track of where each part is then say for my weekly ones usually my weekly ones are a bit more but this is just my demo account this is actually in there i wash if i can if it's not raining on a saturday i usually wash the car and i check the washer fluid levels not so much in the summer because i don't really need to use it that much but certainly in the winter i have uh, films that i would like to watch and i have this list in my notes app so this is a direct link and i can check that to see if i've got the film if i can find it on netflix or if it's on amazon prime or something give my dog his bath every week he gets his bath and as I mentioned before I, I actually keep my real weekly planning session reminder in my routines it's very rare that I miss doing it I just automatic and then monthly so I've got to do my English language business uh, invoices every month do that on the first I check my calendar every first to see if there's any family events or birthdays that I need to know about uh, I chase any overdue invoices on the 15th of the month every month although I haven't been doing that because of the COVID pandemic but check to see if my favorite band above and beyond are coming to Asia if they are can I go and this next one buy a premium to do a subscription on the 30th of July 2022 yes there are a few and you will have them too a few annual things that you need little reminders for this is the best don't just create an annual i mean you could if you want to but you know just keep that as a i just put that into monthly because it means july it's got to be done so it comes up just to remind me to do that and i've also got a books to read list which i check every month to see if there's any books that i can bring forward into my kindle so i can read during the week so or month so there we have my my routines now another reason why you should use sections is because if you wish and if you're more of a visual person you can actually view that as a board so i'm just going to remove the menu there so i can remove this as a board and when it comes to planning and it comes to reviewing this is a good place to go in and you can see all your routines you can add routines and so on and so forth if you wish i'm not a big fan of my routines in a board view but i know some people are very visual and they like to see that the other thing I should point out here is none of these are flagged. Routines are not important. These are if and when I have time each day. Now, I schedule my day so I do have time, particularly to get these things done. But it's one of those things that I just don't want these messing up the, my focused view because these are never urgent tasks. Sometimes clearing my action this day uh, folder in email is urgent. And if it is when I'm doing my daily planning, I will give it a flag. But I, once I've completed the task, I do remove the flag. So don't be frightened about doing a flag if you feel that it's needed. But try not to add flags to your routines. They're not that important and it wouldn't be the end of the world if you didn't do them. So there you go. That's the reason why I recommend you have a routines folder. You can put anything in there that you need regular reminders for on a weekly or daily or monthly basis or even annually basis because it really just means that you don't have to remember to do these things. Todoist will do the work for you. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching this episode and it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Hello, thank you very much for watching my videos. Now I have something exciting to tell you about. Recently I have developed a brand new time management system. It's a system designed to manage your time in the 21st century. The world has changed a lot over the last 20 years. In fact, it's actually changed a lot this year. 
And what we need now is a system, a time management system that is very easy to use, easy to maintain, so that you can spend more of your time doing the work. And that's what the time sector system is all about. It's going to change your whole belief system about way, the way a time management system should work because this focuses on when, when you are going to do the task. And let's be honest, it doesn't matter how motivated, inspired or how urgent something is. If you don't have time to do it, it is never going to get done. And that's what this system is built around, getting your work done. So you can spend more of your time doing the things that you want to do. I hope you join me in this course. The full details of the course are in the show notes below. So please join me and thank you very much for watching this brief video.